it actually started as a matter of conflict. Two clubs, St. Andrews in New York and Newport in Rhode Island, claimed in 1894 to have the amateur championship of the United States. And Charles Blair MacDonald happened to have lost both, and he wasn't happy about that. So he spearheaded an effort in December of 1894 to found the USGA to unify the amateur championship and develop a set of rules. And in 1895, we had our first ever USGA championship, the US amateur, one day older than the US Open. And ever since then, if you want to have a fantastic career as a male golfer in the U.S. and the world, this is the one to win. The Havemeyer Trophy is named for our very first president of the USGA, Theodore Havemeyer, and you're absolutely right that this is a trophy that has so many fantastic stellar names on it, really a pantheon of golf greatness in the U.S. and around the world. And there's a lot of them you see that went on to fantastic pro careers as well. Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Gene Littler, uh, even if they didn't go on to pro careers, Bob Jones won it five times. If, he, if there was a great golf name in America, it is probably on this trophy. Bob Jones was an enormous star, not just in golf, but in sports in the 1920s and into the 1930s, as big at least as Babe Ruth. And his five U.S. amateurs are really the foundation of his greatness and part of what makes him a paragon of amateurism in golf and in sports. In 1930, his fifth and last U.S. amateur win was the one at Marion where he clinched the Grand Slam in a, a really dominating final uh, match performance. So uh, the U.S. amateur and Bob Jones are almost synonymous. Tiger Woods is probably your most exciting and dominant modern era champion in USGA championships with six in a row, three juniors, and then three US amateurs. And of course, he eventually won three US Opens for a total of nine. But that 94, 95, 96 run of US amateurs was just something to see uh, when he dominated so much and played against some very good players and had some long finals. I believe it was 38 holes against Steve Scott, for example. The grit and determination that he showed and that his opponent showed in standing up to him uh, really went down in not just in U.S. amateur history, but in U.S. golf history. You know, the U.S. amateur, like a lot of our trophies, has become sought uh, internationally. Uh, players from around the world come to win this thing and succeed from Eduardo Molinari from Italy, Curtis Luck from Australia was our most recent champion. Uh, Richie Ramsey from Scotland. Uh, players from all over the world want to come and win this trophy. Quite a few of them go on to greatness in the pros, and quite a few of them stay uh, good amateurs. And uh, back before the modern era, one of the most notable was the hero of the 1913 U.S. Open, Francis Wiemet, who won the U.S. Amateur the next year in 1914, and then 17 years later, in 1931 at age 38. So really in two eras of his golfing life, Wiemet showed greatness and because of that, his name is on the Havemeyer Trophy twice.